lot of time in the Bible telling us who we are. It's almost as if he knew that we would doubt who that was from time to time. It's as if he saw it coming, that we'd spend our whole lives searching for what our identity, what our real name was, and that there'd be many moments in our lives where we'd let different kinds of names define us. When we've looked in the mirror, compared ourselves to pictures, and heard the name ugly, when we've been left by loved ones, people we trusted once and heard the name unworthy. When we've been drowning in discouragement, living in a seemingly never-ending crisis and heard the name forgotten. When we've had our hopes up and our hearts open, only to be brought down by closed doors and we've heard rejected. When we look for infinite affirming love through lesser physical fleshly versions. When we give it away or when it was stolen and we hear impure, we hear garbage when we go to other vices to ease our pain and we hear addict we hear forever broken when we feel like we're living in the shadow of someone else's calling and we hear second place when our pain cripples us to a point where we don't even know how to let others in and we hear lonely when our past seems too gross for others to forgive and we hear disgusting it's overwhelming these voices we're constantly hearing it's suffocating this air of constant critique and comparing and it's sort of amazing the people whose voices I've allowed to name me the power I've given to my past to my mirror and to my surroundings and enabled them to identify me the amount of years I've spent living up to whatever others say over me but God says something else about me it's like he knew there would be other voices. So he wrote his voice down in a timeless book of truths that would remind us over and over again in the moments when lies would block his truths and somehow make us forget. I'm going back to the source, not the people I've allowed to represent God to me, but the actual, literal, tangible words that he has written down for me. And there's some other names he's given to me. John 15, 15, he calls me friend. 1 Thessalonians 1, 4, he calls me chosen. Ephesians 2, 10, he calls me his workmanship. He calls me his art. He calls me handmade. He calls me purposed and fashioned for good things. 1 Corinthians 6, 19, he calls my body a temple. He calls it the residence of the Holy Spirit. Acts 1, 8, he calls me his messenger to the world. Galatians 3, 26, he calls me his child. Romans 5, 8, he calls me greatly loved. John 8, 36, he calls me free, free indeed. 2 Corinthians 5, 17, he calls me brand new. And it's amazing how different these names are from the names I'm used to listening to. And in my journey to discover who I really am, in my battle to uncover the truths of myself, I've learned something new about my name and now this is what I am certain of my name is not the name the world calls me my name is not the name my past called me my name is not even the name my own mirror calls me but my name my name is the name I answer to and I can choose today from this moment forward to answer to a new name. When I hear lonely, that's not me. When I hear disgusting, that's not me. When I hear unworthy, I don't even look over my shoulder. When I hear broken, they must have confused me. Please look elsewhere. When I hear ugly, abandoned, useless, forgotten, I figure someone just has to remind them. Maybe those were my old names, but they're no longer the names that I respond to. My name is the name I've chosen to spend my days living up to. And if these other voices are not saying the same thing that the truth is, I look in my mirror and I repeat this They have no right to be speaking to you When you stop answering to your old names They stop having power over you The name that my father, eternity's author The world's creator has called me Are the only names that I answer to When I hear friend of God, that's my name
name. God's workmanship, that's my name. Chosen, that's my name. Loved, wanted, created with a purpose, that's my name. God's temple, that's my name. God's messenger, that's my name. Free, that's my name. Child of God, you must be looking for me. Greatly loved, you must be calling for me. Brand new, that is my name. That is the name that I respond to. The enemy has no power here. Perfect love cast out fear. And perfect love has named me and you. What is your new name? What is stirring up inside of you? When you hear these words that his word, that the word has proclaimed, what do you know is the name God is calling you? Maybe it's not the name you grew up with. Maybe it's not the name your old friends associate you with. Maybe it's not the name that your whole life you were used to identifying with. But it's the name you now answer to. So where the enemy tries to get to you, it's the